Alright, now on to our examples, keeping in mind those three clues that we just discussed. Clue number one, looking for those helping words. Clue number two, looking for those words you already know. And clue number three, reading through that whole sentence to see and look for those examples and those definitions, because sometimes they give it to you. That's why it's important not to rush through these and to read through the whole sentence first. Okay, so that's exactly what we are going to do. We're going to read through the whole sentence. Then we're going to go through each option one by one and kind of figure out which one's going to be the best for us. All right, number one, Jimmy isn't blank well. He has a cough and a fever. Okay, well, I see two words that I already know right now, cough and fever. He's got a cough and a fever. If I have a cough and a fever, I'm sick. I'm heading to the nurse. I'm saying, Miss Raker, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go home, I have a fever, right? So Jimmy has a cough and a fever. So we can already kind of figure out that he is not doing so hot right now, okay? So Jimmy isn't blank well. Okay, well we can kind of guess that one, right? He's probably not doing very well. So let's go through these examples and see what's the best option. Number one, Jimmy isn't jumping well. He has a cough and a fever. What does jumping have to do with having a cough and a fever? Absolutely nothing. You're correct. Jimmy isn't feeling well. He has a cough and a fever. That sounds like a pretty good option. But when we're going through questions like these, we have to make sure we read through all of our examples before we make our final choice. All right. Jimmy isn't cutting well, he has a cough and a fever. Definitely not, that doesn't even sound right. Jimmy isn't look well, he has a cough and a fever. He's look well or he isn't looking well. We already know that that one's not correct. So we can get rid of, we can get rid of our jumping, our cutting, our look, and we're left with what? Feeling. Jimmy isn't feeling well. He has a cough and a fever. All right, now moving on to this next one. This one has two. Sometimes, just like up here, this second sentence can help us figure out the meaning of the first word in the sentence. So we're gonna look through it right now, go through each, and we'll see how this sentence turns out. Macy always pays attention, blank reading. She has read blank chapter books this year. Okay, so I'm looking for those helping words that are kind of giving me understanding of the situation that's going on here, right? So she has read, has. So Macy has done something, she has read books. So, I'm going to say that right here, it's going to be something along the lines of she's paying attention in reading. Because if she wasn't paying attention in reading, right, if she wasn't paying attention, then she probably would not have read chapter books, right? So, she has read chapter books. That's helping me out. That's helping me figure out this first space. Macy pays attention, blank reading. All right, so let's look through number one. Here's our number one options. You're gonna see them like these, just like they are on here. They're gonna be like that on the papers you're doing at home. Macy always pays attention. Next reading. Next reading? That doesn't even make sense. I'm gonna cross him out. All right, Macy always pays attention before reading. Well, that's probably true, right? Macy probably does pay attention before reading, but if it's she always pays attention before reading, would that really be in a, sen in a group sentence grouping with she has read chapter books? Probably not, right? So it's probably not gonna be before. Macy always pays attention during reading. 
Well, that makes a little more sense. That kind of goes with my guess earlier is that if she's read, she has read those chapter books, then she probably was paying attention. So Macy always pays attention during reading is probably a pretty good answer. But I'm not going to circle that one yet because I want to make sure that I go through all of these options first before I make my choice. Macy always pays attention, blank, or <laughs> Macy, Miss Franker made a mistake. We're going to rewind. Macy always pays attention, making reading. Macy always pays attention, making reading? That doesn't even sound right. I'm crossing him out. All right, so that leaves us with that answer we thought was correct in the first place. Macy always pays attention during reading. So I'm going to circle that one. All right, so that's the first part of our sentence is that Macy pays attention during reading. So now that we also know, after we went through our clues, that she has read chapter books, mm -hmm. that's given us a couple more ideas about what might blank number two be, right? So let's read through it again. Macy always pays attention during reading. She has read none chapter books this year. She's read none chapter books. That doesn't even sound right. She's read none chapter books. No way, Jose. All right. She has read blanket chapter books this year. What on earth are blanket chapter books? That doesn't make sense. I'm crossing him out. She has read one chapter books this year. Now, this one's a little tricky because she has read one chapter books this year. That can sound right, can't it? But I'm going to show you a trick here in a second because we're going to keep reading. She has read many chapter books this year. That sounds pretty right. So these two, these two options, one and many, are really good options for this blank, but I'm going to show you why one is better than the other. So when I say she has read one chapter books this year, I know that's not right because I can use my clues and look over here and see that it's saying that she said chapter books. This S at the end of books means that she's read more than one. So the answer can't be one, even though it sounds like it could be. It can't be because I looked and found books. This S makes it so that it can't possibly be one because S means plural. Plural means that she's read more than one. All right, so I'm going to come down here. I'm going to cross out one. He tried to trick me on that one. So I'm going to come down here and say, read our full sentence and see if this sounds right. Macy always pays attention during reading. She has read many chapter books this year. Sounds pretty good to me. So I'm going to circle that one.